Mike the man here for resistnegative.net and I want to uh, explain really, really quickly something to you guys because I've made a post about the uh, how toxoplasmosis affects RH negative people in many, many ways, much stronger than RH positive people. And it's about 23% in the United States that have toxoplasmosis. So you can figure uh, with about... Internationally speaking, half of the world population being infected by toxoplasmosis, that this is a disease, an illness that has amazing, I mean, unbelievable impact on humanity. And the problem with that is, first of all, I have not yet been tested. I'm about to be tested. Um, uh, there are certain symptoms that are showing up in toxoplasma infected individuals that show up very strongly in RH negative people. The impact is very, very strong. Psychologically speaking, it's a very negative. There is something that's happening that basically you can become schizophrenic you become sort of disconnected from yourself. You are becoming overly active. You become restless. Those are the kind of things that I have been told how you can tell if somebody is toxoplasma infected or not. The thing is that I have often been told that RH negative people seem restless to RH positives. And this could be one of the reasons because... RH positive people are not so strongly affected by this. RH positive people sh show some of the symptoms, but not so much. But it seems to be that us RH negatives are extremely affected, infected and affected by that. That means that it impairs us. It impairs the way that we um, act, the way that we think, the way that we conduct ourselves the likelihood to have an automobile accident is much, much higher for RH negatives who are infected with toxoplasmosis, for example. This is how the whole studies by Jaroslav Pfleger began when he realized that when he tested, when, when he examined uh, the people who had the highest amounts of accidents in the army and the Czech Republic. So basically... The one thing that, of course, may confuse you is that there are indications that toxoplasma-infected inf toxoplasma RH negatives experience an increase in their IQ tests. Meaning, the question is, does it make you smarter to have this disease? Is that what it is? Well, let me figure it from a different angle for you guys right now. What if with the restlessness, the increase, the, the, the increase of activity kicking in, also your brain actually begins to expand? I mean, it's a commonly known thing that 15% of our brain capacity is what we are using. So there is a lot of space for improvement. When you have a condition that makes you restless, that makes your mind go wild, you start to think more. You may say you think too much, but the positive aspect is that it can actually enhance your skills, especially in mathematics. Also, of course, in language, because you start to think from different angles. Otherwise, you're relaxed, you use what you have to use. I mean, this is how society is, right? You use a brain that you have to use. Have you ever really, really, really been passionate about something and realized that stuff that you never thought you'd understand, it just happens, it kicks in, right? So this is the explanation I want to give you guys for now. Um, if you go to www.resusnegative.net, you will see a couple of more studies that I'm highlighting here. And of course, uh, we have some studies coming up that you can also be a part of. And I would love for you to be a part of it. 
we need people from all over the world. We need both RH negative and RH positive individuals because we need the RH positive ones for comparison, for controls. So if you guys have RH positive in friends, also invite them to the uh, page called guinea pigs, which I am posting. Nobody will draw your blood. It will be like a questionnaire. It can be all done anonymously. Basically, this is something where uh, we need indications. We need to know what to look for. We need to see what we can begin doing in order to help RH negatives have a much better life. And this is Mike the Man, and I thank you guys very much for watching. Bye-bye.